This occurring challenge is called Exceptional Server. We're going to handle error messages and we're going to work with a function. It's actually a static function from a class called server. The name of the function here is compute and it takes in two long, long integers. During the processing for that function, we expect some things to go wrong. For example, because A and B are both very large numbers, it's possible that the creation of the vector here will cause an exception. So we need to handle that. In this case, that would be a memory allocation issue. We also need to take care, for example, of invalid index access inside the vector. Perhaps B is an invalid index. And there is this one here, which is stated explicitly. So this one here, if A is less than zero, is going to throw an invalid argument exception. We need to take care of that, but otherwise we can go ahead and just print whatever integer this function returns. So if you look here inside the main function, this code is already provided. We need to write our code below this comment right here. They create a and b here. They are both long, long integers. They get some input here at every iteration inside this while loop, and we need to handle the exceptions right here. So here we have different behaviors that we can deal with. The first one is if everything goes well, we just print the results of the function call, which is the compute function. Otherwise, if we have a memory allocation issue, we print not enough memory. If there is a standard C++ exception, we print exception colon followed by the message. And if there is any other non-standard exception, we print other exception. I have my code here written in Visual Studio. I believe I've posted that on my GitHub, but this is how it works. First, I'm going to try and get the value returned by the compute function here inside of this int variable. If everything goes well, we're going to move to that next line and print it on its own line. This here is wrapped in a try block, meaning that if something goes wrong during the computation of that compute function here, we're going to catch the exception and handle it here. So if we have a bad allocation issue, a memory allocation issue, I'm going to print not enough memory on its own line. If there is an invalid argument error or an invalid argument exception, just as what they have here, meaning A is less than zero, then I'm going to print exception, colon, a space, and then the error message or the exceptions message. And I can get that by calling the dot what method on my exception right here. I do the same thing here for any standard C++ exception. So I call e.what on my exception. And for any other exception from the function that is non-standard exception, I print other exception. Notice here that I'm catching my exception as constants and by reference. This is just good practice in C++. So we can now copy this code here and paste it inside this editor. So I'm going to come here. It doesn't really matter if the indenting is off. I can run this code and let's test if we can pass the cases. So we have one sample test case here. We've passed it. Let's submit this code and test against our 10 cases and we've succeeded. So that's it guys for this current challenge. It was called Exceptional Server. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and check out my GitHub in the description of this video. I'll catch you next time.